All right, let's see how you did with the next guest. Scroll, please. It's a mirror. It's a mirror. Well, what's this one? A mirror. Wow, this your oh another oh there's, there's a mirror. Are there's we, another mirror. Are we doing a mirror? Look a at mirror? All the mirrors. The Configurist is a band from Indianapolis, Indiana Pils, Indianapolis list. Uh, Indiana. <laughs> Consisting of guitarist Robbie Bacon, Cameron Diaz, Joey Bacon, Mike and Ikes, Eric Gunther, and Jordan Uberhard did. Right, Reinhardt? God damn, look at these sexy motherfucks. Don't you just want to like fucking eat half of them? Band was formed in 2007. Hey fellow musicians, group up in formation, team, band, practice. They got signed by E1 in 2010. Did somebody call for a record label? Uh, me, yes, I am. Well then shut the fuck up, hop aboard, and let's fly. They consistently put out an album like every two years. Whoa, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah take that. Yeah, 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 fuck you. Suck my, suck my fat yeah, music. Theory. They swapped out the vocalist in 2013. Hey, hey dude, I'm gonna like totally go be with my family. Sure. Yeah, bro, that's super sway. I'll take over. Oh, cool, man. And then they, uh. Shh. Hmm, hang on, shit. Wait, 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 hang on. That's it? Fuck. Fuck me. How am I supposed to talk about a band if they haven't used a stage as a public toilet or cured the elderly population of Thank lip you, dick syndrome. Dad. God, look at all these lovable characters. You're telling me none of them went on any wacky adventures? You expect me to believe Eminem here never got in a fight with another band? Never ate a knuckle sandwich? What's with the droopy face? And what's with Mr. Hollywood actor face over here, huh? What kind of commercials he's doing? Yes. Okay, wait, just give me a second here. Let me see if I can look up influences. Uh, ISIS? This explains everything. Just look at all the lyrics. The system is now free from American influence and the sparks of life. You mean death to infidels? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. The Extortionist is another one of my genty ambiance prog bands that indulge my need for titillating guitar parts with non-predictable composition because, quite frankly, they just, they really don't give a fuck about composition. Something that may be a pop song, which might not be considered progressive, but it could be followed by a death metal riff or you know any anything that you choose as long as it uh piques our interest then we're willing to use it they've got this interesting twist to heaviness that's both riffy and flowy and the way they combine the two so seamlessly it's just it's fucking amazing you find yourself lounging on the couch with your mind drifting off into space at one moment and the next moment you're flopping your limbs around all crazy losing your mind one moment you're trying to blow bugs into another girl's mouth through a tube the next moment you're playing table tennis with a champion z you never know what you're gonna get as long as it uh piques our interest then with all these things in mind, let's write a bonkers, heavy, pretty, atmospheric, spacey, proggy, chill song. Sheesh, dude, it's like a fucking progressive metal madhouse. <laughs> Step one, go catch yourself some meaty chug patterns at the fat as fuck pond. Fish out that groove, fry it up, boil up some noodly notes on the side. Ah, oh, dude, shit, you left your meat and noodles out. Now they've gone bad. Oh, it's all spoiled. You can go back to the non-sour riff, but eesh, it's gotta have like salmonella or some something on it. Instant circle pit. Just add people. Start building some musical pressure like a shaken soda bottle. Give in to the chill side. The high chords, they've gone everywhere! <laughs> Step nine, you throw your car seat back and put on sunglasses and just fade away into the sunset. Well, it's, uh, it's definitely catchy. I can tell you that much, that's for sure. I decree all notes shall live in love and harmony. Space, ooh, planet, star. Hey, 
fuck you, Tyler, guy who writes this. It's been a long day for me. Time for some atmosphere. With the power of love and friendship, we will overcome any... Nothing to see here, just filling the song up. Just as the hero returns home in his journey, so too will this song to its main riff. Seth Rogen, James Franco, and Kim Jong-un movie. We're gonna need uno mas more evil breakdown, senor. And it's all over now. Just drift into space happy, frozen with no oxygen and cold. Woo yeah, shit, we done it. Cool, it's over. Got through all the steps, now you can do it yourself. Don't need me no more. But if you want to help us out anyway, even if you don't need us, you probably wear t-shirts. We sell them on our band camp, which is also where you could probably find this song that I'll upload at some point. I hope you also enjoy tasty video game jams that you're listening to right now because I made those too. Anyway, here's the thing you came here and probably skipped to.